Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today, today, Gina Young is going to show you all how to make toasted fried ravioli. This is the type of ravioli that is absolutely amazing. It's so simple to make. It's a lot of fun to make. And it tastes so good. Here's what you will need. Now, you will need ravioli, okay? You don't have to use this kind. Whatever type of ravioli you can find would be just fine. Now, if your ravioli comes frozen like this did, you want to set it out on the counter until it's nice and thawed out. This one here is the beef one that I have. And I also have the cheese. I couldn't decide between the two, so we're gonna do both, okay? So I set these on the counter for around about an hour and a half, and they're thawed out, okay? And really, it's that simple. You do not have to boil these. I see that there's a lot of people that like to boil theirs partially, and then pat them dry with a paper towel and then proceed cooking them. You don't have to do that, okay? And we're not gonna do it today. So then, you also will need two eggs, you will need all-purpose flour, and I also have Italian breadcrumbs. You will need parsley flakes. You also will need marinara sauce, sea salt, cracked black pepper. You will need milk. Come over this way, and you will need a pot of oil. This oil here is vegetable oil that I'm going to use. And you all that know me, you know that I love to use my favorite wok. This wok here can be found on Amazon, and the pot collection is Wolfgang Puck Pot Collection, and it can be found on Amazon. The reason why I'm telling you is because so many people ask me daily, where do you get your pot from, Gina? So that's where you can find this. All right, so what we're going to do is, let's come over this way. Make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. You wanna go ahead and crack your eggs, just like so. And you only need two eggs. If you're doing a really large batch, maybe you can use another egg, all right? I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to do. We'll just kinda of eyeball it, all right? So we're gonna put some milk in here if you any type of milk that you want to use actually would be just fine okay just pour you some milk in no no certain measurements all right <clears throat> now what i like to do i want to go ahead and season up my milk and my egg mixture with some cracked black pepper we want to season every layer of every dish that you make any dish that you make coming out of the young's house is always going to be seasoned all right let's see we're going to grab a little bit of salt just that just that's enough all right i hope that you all are having a great day today today is monday and i hope that each and every one of you had a beautiful mother's day and i hope that your mothers and your grandmothers had a beautiful mother's day as well Okay, let's go ahead and mix this. And you want to mix it up until that egg is really beaten up into the milk. Just like so. Beat a little bit of air into those eggs. Meanwhile, you want to make sure that you are heating up your oil. Because you want to get this oil here to 350 degrees. You don't want to put your battered ravioli into this pan and your oil's cold because what will happen is your ravioli will turn into smush and that won't be good. So the way we're going to tell if our oil is nice and hot is go ahead and preheat it now. We're going to use a medium high heat the whole time. We're going to take a little bit of flour just like this, just a little tiny bit. We're going to toss a little bit of flour in there, okay? Now, when we throw it in there, if the flour goes straight to the bottom, that means that your oil's not hot enough. 
But if you do that and you put that flour in there like this and it sizzles right away, that lets you know that your oil is nice and hot, ready for your ravioli, okay? I like to always tell people that because a lot of people don't know, you know, and if you don't know, what do you do? All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's set this aside just for a second. We're having fried ravioli, my goodness, and I am so excited. My mouth is watering already. If you have some Parmesan cheese, grab your Parmesan cheese out because we're going to put some Parmesan cheese on the top of this when it's done. This is what it should look like when it's thawed out. Just like this, okay? Now this one here is the bag of the cheese ones, all right? I'm gonna grab some out. Not too many because I don't wanna overcrowd my pan. All right, there's five. And then let's grab some of the beef as well. If you're not gonna do the whole bag, make sure that you don't unthaw out the whole bag. I'm going to make the whole bag tonight off camera, okay? But for right now, I'm going to do, probably cook up about 10 or 12 of these so you all can see. This is the beef. So we have that there. And maybe one more to grow on. <laughs> all right. Let me put these up. And I'm going to show you what else you're going to need to do. <clears throat> this recipe is so easy to make. And I'm going to show you just how you're going to do it. Okay? Beef and the cheese. Now some of you might say, oh, well, Gina, I like homemade ravioli. Well, and are you going to do a homemade ravioli video for us? No, I'm not. <laughs> and the reason why I'm not is because actually I'm the type of person that if I can find something pre-made and I've tasted it before and I know that it is absolutely delicious if you cook it this way. Personally, I'm going to go out and I'm going to grab the pre-made and I'm going to bump it up. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. Just like I did when I made the pierogies. I showed you all how to make frozen pierogies. Those pierogies are absolutely to die for. And yes, they're pre-made. It's okay to make pre-made things and bump them up and make them taste delicious. And that's what we're going to do today. I don't have all the time in the world. I really don't. I don't have all the time in the world to make the dough. <laughs> and stuff the raviolis and cut them. I don't have time for that. So you find that perfect ravioli that you love and you bump it up yourself and watch heads turn when you make this. They're going to love it. They are going to love you for this recipe. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's give this one more whip just like so there you go <clears throat> now what i like to do i like to go in with the flour first this is one of the cheese ones flour always goes first whether you're going to make a fried shrimp if you're going to make onion rings if you're going to make uh cheese sticks do the flour first okay you want to coat it nicely just like this in this manner okay and then you're going to go into the egg let me grab some gloves and i'll be right back okay everyone i just grabbed some gloves because i really don't want to get my hands messy today all right flour egg mixture just like so and after you dip it in the egg mixture it should look like this all right right on in to the breadcrumbs okay you can use your other hand for the breadcrumbs for a dry hand. Use your other hand for the wet, 
Okay, now watch this. And make sure that you pack the breadcrumbs on. See this here? Now, from this, you can take this and put it on to a cookie sheet with parchment, aligned with parchment paper. You can throw these in the freezer until the next day. And you can throw these in your oil when you come home from work, okay? Or you can take these and put them into a freezer bag, okay? Just like this. Throw these bad boys in a freezer bag and when you're ready to have fried ravioli, you can do just that, okay? Now we have it well coated. We're gonna put it over here onto a plate. Can you all see that? Okay, so then we're gonna grab them and you can do several at a time. I'm just doing one at a time just because I'm doing a tutorial video, okay? Just like this. Make sure to get that breadcrumb well packed onto your ravioli. Okay, this one didn't stick. I'm gonna go ahead and double dip him in there now you're gonna stick see that there we go and really honestly it's that simple this part right here is easy the kids can do this part for you if you wanted them to okay see that that's how they should look very quick very very simple my oil is starting to get nice and heated up <clears throat> okay we're gonna go in dip him all the way in so we won't have that same problem we had with the other one. Here we go. And then, just like this, okay? I'm gonna do the others off camera, and then when I have them all complete, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you all how to make fried ravioli. Absolutely I am. This right here, when's the last time? Let me know in the comment section. When is the last time you all have had ravioli? It's been a while for me. But I tell you one thing, I grew up eating ravioli, you know, the kind that comes in the can. And actually, till today, I absolutely love ravioli. There's just something about ravioli that's kind of, uh, what's the word that I'm trying to say? Kind of comforting. I love ravioli, and another one that I love is SpaghettiOs. Absolutely, I do. I'll have to get me a can of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> did you all grow up on SpaghettiOs and ravioli, and did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, we're going to do a couple more. I'm going to do these off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, everybody, let's check and see if our oil is hot enough. Now, you throw this in. If it sizzles, it's ready. Beautiful. It's ready, okay? Medium high only. Now, here's what we're going to do. I want to go ahead and grab a saucepan or any type of pan. And actually, if you wanted to, you can take your marinara sauce and you can throw it in the microwave if you want to. This does not, this does not have to go on the stove. I'm just gonna put mines on the stove just because I want to, okay? I'm just gonna put a little bit of cracked black pepper and sea salt and heat it up. If you wanted to put a little bit of basil in here, you can. If you wanted to put some Parmesan in here, you can if you want to put a little bit of oregano. It's really up to you. But when I have marinara, I'm usually happy with marinara. I just normally put a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of cracked black pepper, heat that bad boy up, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to put this over here onto a low heat. All right, let's put these in. Okay, I've taken a cookie sheet that I've aligned with aluminum foil and then I put a cooling rack on top. Okay, and what this cooling rack is gonna do, it's gonna allow air to circulate all around the ravioli. When we put them here, it's gonna allow it to drain and not get soggy. So I like to have that ready and nearby because when we're ready to take this out, 
we'll have somewhere to set it. Let's go ahead and start putting our raviolis in and be careful. Don't, don't throw these in, okay? Cause these will burn you and they'll burn anyone else that's standing around you in your kitchen, okay? Just kind of lower them down in there. Be gentle, you all know how to be gentle, okay? Just like so. Now what you're gonna start to see, you'll start to see these rising, okay? And you can give them a little shake onto your plate before you put them in. And that'll just take off the excess of the breadcrumbs that we don't need falling into our, our oil, okay? Because any of the excess that falls off is just going to go to the bottom of the oil and burn. Okay, that's why I like to give it just a little shaky shake. All right, in this manner, we're not going to cook them long. All right, the filling is cooked. The meat kind, I know some of you might say, but there's meat in there and you're only cooking it for so-and-so. Yes, the meat is cooked and it's just fine. Don't cook it too long because we do have the cheese ones in there. And... You don't want them to burst open, okay? What you want to do is you want to kind of go in and move them apart from each other because naturally they'll kind of all go together. They kind of just want to be together. <laughs> so you go in and you move them apart from each other so that they don't stick. But be very gentle because you don't want to brush off all of that beautiful, crispy batter that we've made, okay? Or our breading, so to speak. Okay, here in a second, they're done. I'm going to turn this sauce up. I'm going to turn my sauce up to maybe a medium high. Okay, it's starting to boil. We'll go ahead and turn that down. I don't want it popping all over the place. Just like so. These are just about done. You don't have to worry about flipping them. If you want to and it's driving you crazy, go ahead and flip them like I'm doing. <laughs> but you don't have to, okay? Beautiful. These turn out beautiful every time. All you have to do is wait on them to get that beautiful golden brown color that we all love. You all know what beautiful golden brown looks like, right? That's the color that you're looking for. And here in a second, we're going to have fried ravioli. This right here is the best way to eat them. You hear me? Trust me when I tell you this. Absolutely. I'm going to show you all how to get down with these raviolis. This is going to be a snack that you all absolutely adore. So simple. Lots of fun and it tastes amazing. Woo, I'm getting excited. My mouth is watering and we're just about done. Just about done. Beautiful, my word. Ooh, we're getting ready to take these out. Here in about one, two, three minutes, I'm gonna take these bad boys right on out of this oil. Make sure that you use a slotted spoon, okay? And be very gentle with these, because these things, they are, they're gentle. Or, or they're, they're uh, what are they? Not gentle. What's the word I'm looking for, guys? Fill me in. They're soft. And you want to be gentle. I don't know what word I was looking for, but you all know what I'm trying to say. There you go. Beautiful. Our sauce. Look at this. Nice and beautiful. It's heated up and it's smelling good. Hoo -wee. Don't get too crazy and overcook them, guys, because it's so simple to overcook them. They'll start to puff up, okay, like these have done. And then after the puffing stage, they'll start to burst open. So you want to take them out in enough time. Our sauce is done. I'm going to take it off the burner because it's starting to pop all over the place. My word, I'm going to have to clean marinara sauce up after this video. <laughs> all right, let's take these out. I'm going to take these out. And then I'll come right back. We're going to pray over our food. We're going to give it a taste. I'm going to let y'all know what it tastes like. Look at this. Hoo-wee. Never had this before. You better make you some. You better make you some. And when they ask you, because they're going to ask you, where the heck did you get that recipe from? Hey, be sure to tell them. Jeannie Young. Jeannie Young showed me how. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how to fall in love 
with ravioli. See that? See how nice and puffy? Golden brown, this is what we want. I'm going to take these out and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, these have drained. Okay, beautiful, my goodness. All right, let's plate these up. Let's bring my plate into the equation. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for this meal today. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Send your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions and give us peace over our mind. I pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil in any area of our life. We bind the devil away from us. Devil, you have no authority in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that you're so gentle and kind to us. We thank you for being who you are. Please forgive us for our sins. Thank you for the roof over our head. Once again, thank you for the food. Amen. All right. <clears throat> A little bit of parsley because parsley makes everything beautiful. Just a little bit. Just for the pitcher, okay? Make a beautiful pitcher. Get it all over that plate. Mm-hmm. A little bit of Parmesan. If you don't want Parmesan, hey, it's just fine. Make it how you like it, okay? Put what you want on yours, all right? Once you make this, it's your recipe. A little bit of Parmesan in our marinara sauce. Let's go at this bad boy. Look at this. Now, everybody, and I'm going to talk about this from here on out. If you all, hold on one second. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Okay, what I was going to say, I'm almost... And I thank each and every one of you. I'm almost at 300,000 subscribers. Now, I told you all earlier, when I get to 300,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. Now, since the time I have been doing YouTube, for those of you that have been with me for quite some time, even to the new... Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to answer a call. Even for my new subscribers and viewers, um... Throughout the time that you all have seen me, there's things that I've talked about. I've talked about family members' names. I've talked about things that I like to eat. I've talked about pet peeves and all kinds of things about myself that you all have heard me say. You might have heard me say it one time. You might have heard me say it a couple times. But I'm going to, this is how I'm going to do the giveaway. I'm going to ask questions about myself and whoever gets the answer right basically you'll be the winner okay like for instance let me give you an example I might say what is my brother's name and you all that have seen my video for my rice and roni and hamburger you can always go back to that video and see that his name is pep and me and pep used to make the rice and roni and hamburger it's really you know like that but in order to know the answers, you need to be familiar with the videos. Um, and, you know, you might just be that lucky winner for the giveaway. We're going to go ahead and taste this while we're talking. Look at this. is a big mammoth one. Look how nice and golden brown and crispy on the bottom and the top. Put you a little bit of marinara sauce. Let's try this. Give this a try, guys. Let me know what you think. Mmm, 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 that's the cheese one, my goodness, mmm, <laughs> this is how you should eat ravioli, you hear me, whoo wee mmm, mm. oh, amazing, but, or I might, you know, ask a question, like, who raised me, you never know what the question is going to be, we're going to do this at 300,000. Get ready. 
you might if you have to watch all of the videos and you might want to do that and i'm hoping that you are that winner i'm not sure how many winners i'm going to do i think i might do three it all depends and we'll figure it out and we'll talk about it as i get closer to 300,000 subscribers okay look at this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to try to find a meat one. Mm, let's try this one. My goodness, there's nothing like hot marinara sauce. Let's see if this is a meat one. You never know. I like to mix them up. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, and the meat is so lovely. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I think, I think if I had to choose... I like the meat much better than the cheese one. My goodness, look at this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. Make you some, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Here's our cheese one. Let's finish that one up. Mm, dig in.